Hello guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another Unity C Sharp Antimatter Dimensions video. This episode is 7 and today will be a short one. Today we're going to be doing the save system. And I'm going to be using the save system based on our recent uh, save system video on the idle game tutorial video. and Or that tutorial series. So we're going to be using that one. And I, I will provide the scripts below. Okay. So yeah, make sure if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, turn on some notifications for future videos and live streams, and let's get on with it. I'm sorry that I've been really inactive lately. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's been, the release has been crazy. I've had crazy amounts of stuff to do. The week in my personal life has also been kind of crazy. So uh, I was going to make a video last night, but I just got, bus I just got uh, busy with other things. So I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading in such a long time. Or not as much as I used to. I promise I'll try to get back to that schedule once the once the crypto clicker starts to calm down a bit. Calm down as in my list of to do starts to reduce. But yeah. Anyways, if you haven't installed it, make sure you go check that out. It's on Steam. Oh, you can check out my website is cryptogroundsgames.com and you'll find all the download download links there. Okay. So let's see. I'm looking. I'm currently looking for my save system, but I'm having an, I'm having issues focusing right now. Okay. Assets. So again, you just got to go to the description or the comments wherever I decide to put it and download it right there. I'll make sure there are hate bin links. Okay. Shoot, where is it? Okay, save system. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to copy this into our scripts folder. Make sure you call it save system.cs. Okay. So you for you, you would just create a new script called save system. Okay. So now we have that. We will have to start moving all of our data and everything into there. We should get some errors. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to delete some things because we don't have offline progress in here yet. I don't know when I'll actually do that, but we'll see about that. Okay, so we are in our save system script right here. And here we have our simple AES class and our save system class. Whew. Okay, so there's nothing we need to do in here really. I mean, yeah, I don't want to do that. So, um, for this for the init vector, make sure you change this to um, a different string, and make sure it's all lowercase and it can have numbers in it, and it must be sixteen characters. So if we count this out, it should be sixteen, and it is. So make sure you change that up because if everyone had the same um, init vector, then everyone can just cheat their saves, and that would be kind of an issue. So we're gonna get rid of some other offline stuff that we don't need. Uh, this encrypt key as well can also, uh, this also needs to change. I think this is 24 characters. I may be wrong, but just make sure it's the same length as this one. It's all lowercase and numbers too. This await get UTC time can go. And again, I'll do this all for you. I'll just delete all the stuff that we don't need. Okay, delete um, offline. We just need to get the load player and all that working. I think we're set. Yeah, so we don't need to change any of like, the data stuff because we use the generic type here. So it's already predefined based on what we're doing here. Okay. Okay, so let's head to our main game controller. This is where we're going to be saving our stuff and loading. So let's start with saving here. Uh, let's also add a public float uh, save time. Okay, and we're just going to set, we're just going to have an auto save for um for 10 seconds okay make sure you have some kind of decent interval like 15 seconds or above because if it happens super often then it, it can cause issues why is this time dot delta time duh okay and basically if we're gonna put this at the very bottom below everything right so basically if save time is not greater than or we can literally just say if save time is less than uh, 15 then we're just gonna return it so basically if it's less than 15 seconds then we're just gonna keep returning it otherwise if it is we're gonna set it to zero and start saving okay so what we call here is our save system dot save save player okay we also give it a type um, let's see what's our data it's just data right so we give it a type data this is optional for this you'll see why and in here it says, so we have our data right here, our object type. We need to put in the type in here, our data, and a string for it, which is where our, our file is going to be called. So in here, we just put data, 
and then uh, I can just call it, um, main data or something like that, or just data, that's fine. Okay, so now you'll see that this is uh, redundant, so we can just get rid of this, because we already predefined our, ob our type right here, okay? So we can just get rid of that. So we have saved our player. Now we need to load our stuff, and we're going to do that at the very beginning. So we don't need to load this every time. So what we can do here is get rid of this. Actually, we can just set data equal to save system dot save or sorry load player and now for here we have to specify the type for this okay and then here we since we don't have a, an argument for what our object is in here we just only have a string argument okay and here we put in data because that is the file that we're loading and there we go so there are some safety precautions we want to do we want to check to see if the safe system uh, file even exists. Okay, so what we can do is save exists and it asks us for our key. So we just do data. So if this data file already exists, then we're just going to um, load in this right here. If it doesn't, then we're going to do save system dot, I think, uh, no, we just do new data, right? So we had this originally where we um, created a new data object on start, right? But now we only need to do this if this data file doesn't exist, okay? So we set data equal to um, save, uh, save system dot save exists and the key is data. So if it exists, then we're going to load this player right here. If not, then we're going to create a new player with the specified defaults that we have in our constructor. Perfect. So that is a very easy saving and loading system and it should work perfectly. So let's give it a try. Also, I do have import and export player, but I don't use them. Well, I'm not going to use them, so um, we might see some errors. Let's see. Let's give it a shot, though. I don't believe we need to create an object for it. Nope, we don't. Okay, cool. So now let's let the game play on autosave. So let's find our directory. Okay, so if you've watched that video in the past, I explain where everything is saved, but I'm going to show you again. Um, but let's see, where is my path? Right here. So application.persistent data path is a certain path that is hard like hard locked for every single device right so for windows for example ours is located in excuse me um i have it right here somewhere i'm just blind right here so it's located in app data your username app data local low low crypto grounds and then your game name right here so remember, um, so our project name is called Antimatter Dimension Series. So if you go to player settings, that's this right here, the product name and your company name. So basically it's located in your company name folder, so Crypto Grounds, for me. Uh, Antimatter Dimension Series, which is the product name. And we also have our saves and our backups folder. So see, we have a backup save right here too. And we have our actual save, our data right here. So yeah, this code is pretty lengthy, but yeah, we have it right here. Cool. So now if we um, quit, it should save and load. So we know the saves works, but does the load work? Yes, it does. Perfect. So now I'll make the future videos a lot easier. And I can actually start playing this on my own if I wanted to. Obviously, there's not enough content. And I'm not sure what to do next. I think I should jump to achievements because that will help me a bit. So I'll probably start some achievements next video. Anyways, I said that this was going to be a very quick quick one so i hope you guys are happy with that anyways if you enjoyed this video and learned something new make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on some notifications for live streams and videos comment all your feedback questions compliments all that good stuff below anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace